What is up everybody guys, it's a great storm here. It's been a while since I've done a YouTube video. Um, the winter storm of Texas really took me my cells out. Um, there was a lot of stuff that I had to do. I literally had to collect water from a different building in our apartment complex because our building apartment complex was out of water for like a good three to four days. I mean it's not as bad as what most people had issues with. My family got hit pretty bad by it. Um, but I'm alive. I like I like snow. I just don't like that it's cold. Um, but here we go. We're gonna do a finally a YouTube video how to install Arc using Linux GMS. We're doing a Ubuntu currently, so let's go ahead and just copy and paste that. I'm currently using Ubuntu twenty zero four. I am not using the Ubuntu sixteen. For anybody that's curious about which version of Ubuntu that I'm using. If you're if you're wondering what that was, that is actually the installation portion of uh, Steam CMD. It requires you to accept the um, authorization for Steam, Steam CMD. I mean, you can always download it manually and do it that way. You're going to go ahead and go and create a user Quark server. Um, bogus password. We can use the bogus password they provide to us. All right, um, fill in the blanks. Information correct, hopefully. Let's go ahead and switch over to Arc Server. All right, now let's go ahead and run this uh, wget. We currently ran the switch user command, if you guys didn't see that. So now let's do wget, let's get the file into our system. And we currently have a file called uh, Mark Server. So we're going to do arc, uh, dot slash. Nope, you can't do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and install that. Alright, fun fact. Um, for many of you guys who are fans of CentOS or Fedora, um, actually CentOS is actually the one getting impacted right now. CentOS is pretty much going away. Um, there's a lot of uh, gestures. Um, that are trying to replicate CentOS like Rocky Linux. Um, I personally am switching over to Ubuntu 2004. Um, my game server that I currently manage, I'll be switching over to Ubuntu OS. Um, I'm currently working on a maintenance window so I can work on all that. But um, for any of you guys who are interested in using CentOS, I always recommend it, but it's not going to be supported as much in the future. Um, a lot of people are switching over and for someone that you knew they're going to come into Linux, I recommend using Ubuntu. It's a great product. Love it. Um, the gestures are always up to date. I use our doc I use Docker on Ubuntu and it's pretty much the most updated version of Ubuntu as far as I know. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pause real quick. Let's go let that install. Um, See you guys in a bit. Alright guys, the installation is complete. Let's go ahead and continue. Alright, Arc server. What do you want to do? We actually don't want to do start yet. I always forget that we have to go ahead and go to the configurations. You got a D underscore default. You don't want to be modifying this whatsoever. But you do want to copy this portion of the script. You want to go to arc server.cfg. That is the one you'll be editing. In the very bottom, just append it. The new ones you copied over. The game port 7777. The query port 72 or 27015. Make sure these ports are open on your box, um, firewall wise. Um, if you're using a home router, you want to make sure your firewall is open with these ports. Um, you don't have to change much. I recommend you don't change that much if you're just trying to spin one up. We're not going to be changing anything as far as I know. Um, Alright, now the next step is we're going to go here and do start. Alright guys, I just started the Arc server. Let's go ahead and go Steam. 
Now let's use the server browser. Let's go ahead and find it. So you want to make sure you get the IP address. Um, the port the port you want to be using will be um, the query port. You want to say find game, and there you have it. There's your Rust game server. You can just add that to your list, and then you can just go on there and play whenever you want. Um, that's my video tutorial how to set up Arc Server using NixJMS. Um, it's pretty straightforward. The documentation for NixJMS is pretty spot on. If you have any questions, NixJMS has a Discord where you can ask some questions. Of course, you're more than welcome to comment under this video for any questions you have during the installation for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Please follow, subscribe, and have a great day.